So today I find myself in Palestine. Uh, we just crossed the border, which is back there, uh, through the walls from Israel to Palestine. And we're in the first town, which is Bethlehem. And on our way to seeing where Jesus was born, we're gonna stop at a souvenir shop that's uh, well known for their handmade olive wood carvings. And the olive tree is a very important part of the culture here. Um, you see olive trees growing everywhere. So let's go check it out. So if you want to see the difference between bamboo and olive wood, here you have it. Palestine, you're letting me down. We're gonna pay to use the toilet? Come on now. So we are here in the church um, that has the stable where Jesus was born. And right now they're doing mass in Armenian because that was the first nation to accept Christianity. Now earlier on our tour, we were told that the Virgin Mary of Bethlehem is the only virgin that smiles in the pictures. I didn't mean, smile for the picture, but she's depicted smiling. Entering the manger where Jesus was born. So in Israel, you'll see everything that's written on the signs are in Hebrew and in Arabic. But since I've been in Palestine, I've only seen Arabic and then, you know, occasionally English. But I've not seen any Hebrew written on anything yet. So we're here in the city of Jericho, which is the lowest city on earth, um, some odd hundred meters below sea level. And we are now climbing up the Mount of Temptations. This is where Jesus was tempted by Satan in the desert. And it is hot out here. And I can tell you, yeah, it, it would be very tempting, like a tall glass of water, I, I would immediately give in. So let's go check out the top of the mountain. Imagine walking all the way up here and then it's closed. Man! <laughs> and also, this church is run by the Greek Orthodox Church, which is why we see the Greek flag.
not exactly sure what chamber this is, but um, there's lots of people that put um, like requests or prayers maybe. Uh, if you know what this place is, leave a comment down below, please, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna head into the baptism site of where Jesus was supposedly baptized in the Jordan River, which is also the border of Jordan and Israel, so it's, uh, both sides are guarded by military, and it's uh, 38 degrees out here, so it is very warm, so maybe we'll, we'll take a dip too. And if you want to get baptized, you can just come here to the convenience store and buy a robe. And if you want to take some holy water with you, you can put it in this bottle. So here we are at the Jordan River. We are downstream, so it's a little bit more sedimenty. Um, yeah, let's uh, put our hands in here and just. Nice and chill. Pretty cool. Got people get baptized. Tourist watching. <laughs> the tour was good. It their tour guide was really great. Bethlehem was good. It was interesting going into like the cave area of where the manger would be. It was very low to the ground, so I hit my head. Jericho was fun. The cable car was a good ride. And now we're here at the Jordan River, and it's nice to see like where Jesus got baptized and the importance it is to all three different religions. So yeah. So our first location was Bethlehem, and it was really interesting because I didn't realize that we had to go through a checkpoint in order to get into that area. I understood that it was uh, you know, a Palestinian area, but I didn't realize we were going to have to go through a checkpoint and get a separate Palestinian guide, so that was really interesting. And uh, I think one of the things about the Holy Land is you don't really know what it's like until you get here. And so I, it's just good to see it on the ground and just to see how it works. But I enjoyed uh, our trip to the Church of the Nativity. Uh, it's really interesting to me how you have all of these different cultures and uh, branches of Christianity that are sort of in one spot because you've got Catholics and Orthodox and then you've got Greek Orthodox and there's Armenians and it was sort of an interesting way to spend a day and sort of see all these different groups, different forms of prayer, different things, but all interested in the same uh, site. So our second site was Jericho and that was, that, well we're re re right in the desert and I'm Canadian so <laughs> I melt in the desert. The cable car was really beautiful, we, so we, we go up to the Mount of Temptation and there's a monastery up there, you have a beautiful view of the valley, you can see all of the palm trees that are filled with right now dates that have not ripened yet and uh, again I, I didn't realize that you had this sort of pockets of um, fertile areas in the desert with all of these different palm trees and it was again really educational and interesting. We had a beautiful meal uh, together at the cable car site and uh, Avi, our uh, guide, played the, the lute, well what, I, what we call the lute he played for us. Right now we're just at the Jordan and it, it was interesting to see there's sort of two groups uh, on this side, the Israeli side, there was a group of uh, individuals getting baptized in the river and right across the river in Jordan I saw some Palestinian Christians who were Orthodox coming down with an Orthodox priest and they were being baptized in the same river at the same time. So two, two different countries, uh, maybe even two different churches but in the same river and I think that was sort of a really inspiring moment. Well, you know, each of the sites we went to were great in their own way, but one of the ones that really hit me was the um, 
uh, you know, we went to Jericho, we went to the um, Temptation Mountain. We were kind of thinking about the three temptations of, of Jesus um, kind of in the wilderness, but particularly the one that, that, that struck me was sort of as you look over the mountain and sort of the sea, the, you know, um, Jericho and the kind of the kingdoms of the world and, and that kind of reflection on, on temptation there. You know, Dostoevsky has a really kind of cool reimagining of, of that um, series of temptations in his um, Brothers Karamazov. And one of, the, one of the things he does is he looks at that, the first temptation of being able to sort of turn um, kind of the stone into bread. And what Dostoevsky does with it is he, he says, you know, he says, this is really the temptation of our age, right? To, you know, to kind of worship material comfort. And, and, and you kind of, you feel that when you, you see kind of in contrast the, uh, the cave part where um, the, um, the Greek Orthodox uh, uh, cloistered monks spend time praying. And you see that kind of n nice contrast of that kind of impulse to kind of worship comfort and then the resistance to it as you look down on kind of Jericho, the, the Las Vegas of, of the ancient world in a way. So, you know, that was, that really hit me. And, and as I kind of walked up the steps and kind of sweated it out, I thought this is a, this is a great, a great moment in this, uh, this adventure. So, you know, all of the sites were great in their own ways, but that, that was one that really struck me. So, um, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a great time.